miracle. It's a miracle to you. It's a miracle. To Unaweza kuongea kizungu pia inaruhusiwa kuna shida. Yeah. Okay, kwa mama mahali wekelea kizungu. So what really happened? Ulikuwa uko wapi? Ulikuwa uko dusit kwenyewe kwa hoteli? Ulikuwa kwa ofisi? What were you doing? So ni ninasimamia uh, communication kwa, kwa authority inaitwa Konza Technopolis. Hapo awali nilikuwa mwana habari nikatoka right. kutangazaji nikaingia computer communication. Alright. Kwa hivyo kwa, kwa sababu tunaanza mwaka niliamua kuchukua uh, my team wale ambao tunafanya kazi nao ili tuweze ku, kupanga uh, kazi ya, ya mwaka. Alright. Na kwa hivyo nilikuwa na kampuni wa, wa, wa officers kutoka kampuni ya ya PR ya Oxygen na wengine mmoja ni mwa America na mwingine ni mwa Arabu. Kwa hivyo tulikuwa uh, watu karibu kumi katika Dusi Hotel tukikuwa hiyo workshop ya strategy. Oh, mlikuwa ndani ya Dusi Hotel mkifanya workshop yenu. Yes, mlikuwa ndani ya Dusi. When this was happening you you guys were actually inside Dusi Hotel. We had the first bank Okay. Wow. Then what happened? katika ilikuwa dakika chache baada ya saa 8 mchana tulisikia mlipuko katika mlango wa hoteli mkahawa wa Dusit. kwanza wale tulikuwa nao my colleagues wakipia kuadilisha kuangalia nini inaendelea. Mimi nikatoa mzaha nikasema nani tena ameruka? Uh, because nimekuwa na mitanda ya watu kuruka juu ya ya ofisi mm. na nikaendelea kupanga vitu zangu laptop handbag simu na kuna kitabu nilikuwa nimebeba na soma hapo kwao zangu wakaanza kubabayuka na wakakimbia tukaanza kusikia sasa marisasi siki, sikipigwa nikajua ni, ni jambo ambalo si la kawaida mm. jambo la kwanza ambalo nilifanya nilitoka nje nitafute safe exit kwa sababu katika eh, building yoyote kuna kwanza na ile fire exit yes. in, in, nikaenda nikaitafuta nikapata mm. nikarudi kwa hoteli room tulikuwa first floor na wenzangu pata kati ya wenzangu ambao tulikuwa nao wengi wao walikuwa washakimbia tukabaki karibu watu sita so nikawaelekeza nikwambia nishapata safe exit munifuate mm. wakanifuata wakati tuliingia stairs mmoja wa consultant ambao tulikuwa nao alikuwa anaishi hapo Udusit akatuambia akona room fourth floor room yake iko fourth floor room 4117 mm. tukaamua kupanda juu Mm. Now, wakati um, kasa wa west gate ulifanyika mm. nilikuwa nafanya safari kwa na nilikuwa kwa team yenye inaitwa crisis uh, communication uh, TMT crisis management team okay. kwa hivyo huko tulikuwa tushapewa uh, training on, na ya, what you are not supposed to do mm. in an event of an attack mm. na nilikuwa najua jambo la kwanza ambalo siwezi fanya ni kwenda chini kwa sababu mm. unaweza toroka uh, teremka chini kwa mlango ya kawaida ukutane na wao mm. na jambo la pili ni kwa najua usiende the last floor uh, up there because you know what happened in Dusit the topmost floor mm. of the mm. kwa hivyo uh, nilikuwa tunajaribu mahali ambayo uko safe mahali tunaweza by time tukigojewa kusaidika okay. kwa hivyo tulikimbia tukaenda fourth floor kwa room ya one of our consultant anaitwa Ali So the Tuka thing is yada. ulifikiria tu lazima nikae mahali katikati. Nilifikiria wacha tukae katikati. Hakuna kukimbia kutoka maana unaweza kukutana nao. Ndio. Na pia hakuna kukimbia kwenda juu kabisa maana pia unaweza kuwa wako juu kabisa. Oya yeah, wanafunga juu uh, it's, it's a habit of terrorists wanafunga juu na wanafunga chini. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So mkakimbia yeah. fourth floor. Tukakimbia fourth floor tukaingia room one of the room. Okay. Yes. Then what happened my dear? That is the point at which niliamua sasa kupeana habari kwa mkubwa wangu yes. uh, CEO engineer Tanui mm. na kuna rafiki yangu mwingine alikuwa amekuja ame uh, mm. kuniona around lunch break time alikuwa mm. anajua ni hapo nikampigia kwa sababu nilikuwa najua ako na connections za zenye zaweza ambia wa, wa ofisa wa wa serikali wa juu tumepama mm. uh, alafu jambo lingine na kwanga kwa WhatsApp group ya wanahabari mm. naitwa Network for women in media. Mm. Nikajua the safest people I can give this news are my colleagues the journalists. Mm. So nikawapatia. Mm. Na kutoka hapo sasa nikaanza tukaanza kukua guided on what to do and what not to do. So tukazima simu. Mm. Uh, nikazima nikaweka silent mode, nikaambia wenzangu tuweke silent mode. Mm. Na nikaendelea sasa kuwasiliana uh, na mkubwa wangu na wanahabari ambao sasa walikuwa wanajaribu kutuguide na kutuambia msaidizi unakuja usaidizi usaidizi unakuja kaini tu. Okay. Yeah. Mliokolewa sangapi? 
tuliokolewa kitu uh, uh, kadhaa baada ya saa 12 karibu saa moja jioni alright kwa hivyo kutoka saa nane mulika pale hadi saa moja jioni hivi hadi saa moja sema saa 12 unusu saa moja mkiwa pale ndani mlikuwa mnasikia tu mlio wa risasi ama kulitulia baadaye kulikuwa na mlio wa risasi ambao ulikuwa unakaribia kila wakati kila dakika unasikia wanakaribia 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 wa ilifika wakati tuli eh, tuliambiwa jambo ambalo lilituokoa kabisa kwa, kwa kila kitu yenye tulifanya mm. kuambiwa tusi sijaribu kupungua mlango tukisikia anok. Okay. Na kwa kweli tulisikia anok. Okay. Tukaambiwa afisa wa, 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 wa reki hawatagonga watavunja. Okay. Lakini kama ni wa hawa wa terrorist watagonga. Na kwa kweli tulisikia wakigonga mara kadhaa. Na tukanyamaza tukufungwa. Okay. Wow. So mkasubiri paka mlango ukavunjwa kasubiri mpaka mlango ukavunjwa ndio nikachungulia nikaona kweli ni afisa wa polisi nikatoka ndio nikamwambia nikatoka nikabeba mizigo mizigo yangu singewacha laptop mm. Mm. <laughs> na simu mm. nikachukua mm. nikatoka nikapata tuko watu wanne kati ya watu sita mm. nilikuwa nishaangalia vizuri nikaona mwenye alikuwa na lead hiyo squad mm. nikamwambia kuna watu wawili wenzetu ambao wako ndani Mm. wakarudi wakawatafuta wakakosekana nikauliza wako wapi nilikuwa nishatibitisha kwamba mmoja alikuwa amejificha kwa closet mm. na mwingine alikuwa amejificha umejua mtu anatoshanga kwa pilo makadeu kwa pilo wenzangu anitoshia kwa pilo <laughs> yes wangu na ni mtu mzima <laughs> alikuwa ulikuwa ukiingia hivi unaona kitanda iko na pilo lakini ni mtu so oh. ilibidi niwaelezea kwa ndani na pilo okay. akaingia uh. akatolewa Uh, tukakuwa uh, evacuated but wakati tulifika kwa mlango ya dusi tu, the last mile ndio tutolewe nje yes pia kukakuwa na na na, na fuatuanaji wa risasi kati ya hawa walifu na wanawafisa wa polisi okay. uh, kwa hivyo ilibidi reki squad wa kuja na Hamad vehicle mm. uh, tukarushwa ndani mm. uh, tuka, tuka wakaendesha wakatutoa uh, to safe uh, ground nje ya 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 hiyo complex ya Riverside Wow, we thank God you guys came out alive. Yeah. Tunashukuru so sana. Tunashukuru sana mliweza kutoboa. That is great. And we thank God for the Reke squad and everyone else ambaye alisaidia pale. I would say it was very well coordinated. Yes. Uh, kwangu jambo la busara mbala maana ambalo nilijifunza ni number one, don't mm. panic. Okay. Don't panic. You even number sound like you you didn't panic at all. I had to but at some point let me tell you mm. at some point we were in the bathroom with one of my colleagues mm. but trust in me you diarrhea was real <laughs> Pole sana my dear it was bad it was horrible but I was confident because I I I had relied on um giving me uh, guiding us and and I I I was I was sure that uh, the security forces were in the building unfortunately again for for me is that I was getting real information mm. and i knew mm. when uh, the reki squad had not arrived okay mm-hmm. but they arrived in time they arrived in time and they, they did an awesome job thank you so much john yeah thank you for your time yeah. and uh, we wish you all the best wewe well, niule ulicha kwa kwa studio spingi na do Ah si mimi huyo ni kaka zema. I had to I had to crack a joke. I mean it's never that serious. Huyo <laughs> <laughs> ni kaka zema si mimi. Uh, ana umama sana, huwa ana umama sana. Ni mwanamume ambaye anaweza kuchapwa tu na mwanamke yote. Hata wewe ukitaka utamchapa. Ah mimi naona nitakuchapa wewe. Asante sana eh. Thank you. All right my dear. Zimetimia mwendo wa saa 3 wow. nusu South Africa ya Mashariki. Wow, thank God she can even crack a joke i know she can laugh yes wow <sighs> very sad but i wish kila mmoja wetu wa kenya angepata lile funzo ambalo june alipata akiwa safaricom i wish kila mmoja wetu mwenye anakuambia kwamba we were already trained i knew that siwezi kukimbia chini because nitakutana nao na siwezi kukimbia juu kabisa because nitakutana nao so the safest place you can be ni kuwa pale in the middle manake terrorists kuzote watafunga chini 
na wafunge juu ndio wachukue mkuwe kama hostage pale katikati so to be safe anasema mwenyewe kulingana na training aliyopata alijua kwamba lazima nikae tu somewhere in between as we wait for help weka simu yako silent mode communicate chini ya maji as you wait for help ukisikia hodi usifungue au ni magaidi ukisikia bang ujue serikali imeingia na uko salama wow 